Let's look at finding the slope between two points. You see two points here, A and B, A being three comma one. Now we could graph that of course, and point B, and we could also graph that. We're gonna find the slope between these two points. Now with the graph, of course, we could look at it and find the rise, we could find the run, and we can make the fraction which is the slope. The slope is always rise divided by run. What if we don't want to graph it? However, how do we do this? Well, we're gonna label this first point A, we're gonna call that x1, y1, and then point B, that's gonna be our x2, y2. And in order to find the rise, in order to find the run, we're gonna simply subtract the coordinates. So the slope formula is y1 minus y2 all divided by x1 minus x2. Now, of course, you can reverse those and do y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, and you're gonna get the same answer. So in this particular problem, we're gonna take our y1 and we're gonna subtract our y2. That's gonna be on the top of our fraction, and at the bottom, in order to find the run, we're gonna subtract the x coordinate. So I'm gonna take that x1 minus the x2. Two. And then we just simplify. That would be 1 plus 2, which is 3 on the top. And on the bottom, we have 3 minus 1, which is 2. So the slope here is 3 halves. And we always write slope as a fraction just like this. Here we have another example where we're going to find the slope between these two points. Now we're going to subtract the y's and divide by subtracting the x's, but this time I'm going to go right to left. I'm going to do y2 minus y1 on the top, and then x2 minus x1. So to, in order to get the rise, we subtracted the y's and we got minus 4 on the top. And then on the bottom, 4 minus minus 2 is 6. Now, this is a fraction, right? But it's not fully reduced. So we always like to reduce our answer in the end, minus 2 over 3, when you divide both of those by 2. So if we were to graph this, the line would be going down 2 to the right 3. It would be a downward sloping line. Lots of minus signs floating around, so let's be careful when we do this subtraction. Remember the slope is where you subtract the y's on top. It's always wise to start with the y's is what I tell my students. I know you're rolling your eyes. And then on the bottom, we're gonna take our x's and subtract them. Look at all those minus signs. Now we need to be really careful here. We get negative four plus five on the top, and on the bottom we have negative five. So that's one over negative five. So the slope is negative one fifth. So you can write it like this, or you can put the minus sign on the top or on the bottom. Remember, that's all the same thing. But the line is gonna go down one to the right five. In my fourth and final example, we're gonna take our y's and we're gonna subtract them and put that on the top of a fraction in order to find the rise. And to find the run, we subtract the x's. Now I went left to right on the y, so I better go left to right on the x's, otherwise I'm gonna get the wrong answer. I'm gonna have my sign wrong. So one plus two over negative four plus five gives me the answer three over one. Now, the slope could be written as three over one, right? Because you're gonna go up three to the right one if you were to graph this. We could also shorten it to just be a slope of three. That's perfectly fine also. All right, hopefully you found this ultra short video really helpful and you're gonna subscribe to my channel. You're gonna leave your comments down below and like this video. Until next time.